Straight up, why? I hear he's soft. Soft. Go under over. You trying to hit him? He don't want no more to say, but you got to put the pressure on. Make him fight. Make him fight. Keep him going backwards. He ain't got no legs. He ain't got Keep him going back. Keep that, baby. Like what I see. Keep that jail pump. That's all I need. This is another of those grunge music fights. Jim, no rhythm. No lyrics. No polish. It may be grunge, but it's anything but Nirvana. <laughs> There's the rabbit punch. <laughs> Report from Gennaro Hernandez's dressing room. State Athletic Commission doctor telling us that Hernandez's nose is, quote, severely broken. Well, there's a new position. <laughs> Counter right inside by Tony. Mateen continually trying to wrap Tony's body up with his left arm and flail away with the right. Good right hand by James Tony. Let me tell you, that left hook underneath hurt this guy bad. Yep. Mateen lurched through the ropes and then lurched back into the ring. No. Now, if Tony has this guy hurt, can he finish him? And James looks over at us and grins in frustration as if to say, what the heck am I supposed to do? And he's got a point. It's preposterous in there. There's the backhand hold with the rabbit punch, which would have been good enough for disqualification in the eyes of George Foreman. Immediately, Mateen wraps his left arm around Tony and fires to the liver. And there's another one over the top. Harold. One point off. Here's another point deducted from Mateen. How close to a DQ are we getting here, Harold? Jim, I've never seen a referee take more than two points. Once he's taken the two points and Mills Lane has, the next time Ernest Mateen throws one of those rabbit punches, Mills Lane's going to throw him out. There's no question. I, I mean, Gerald McClellan was seriously hurt because he got hit with, with rabbit punches. It's very, very dangerous, just as George Foreman said, to get hit in the brainstem, and this guy's doing it constantly. And Tony got headbutted there as Mateen pulled away from the ropes, so James James kind of collected himself and considered the possibilities and then went back at it. See, when a fight turns dirty, sometimes it's not the, all the time the, the, the choice of the fighters. It's the referee. They need to get in there and clean it up. And now the head of the Nevada Every State been in your knees. Athletic Commission, the the body. It's all over. Mr. All right, Bradner, Stop is standing on the edge all right. of the ring, talking to the referee. When you the punch to the body, you don't like the legs. I don't know if he's as offended by the rabbit punches as by the style of this fight. We ain't gotta do that. I'm offended by both. Bend your knees and punch to the body. That's all. That's all. I know. Just keep you cool. I got it, baby. Give me the jab. You see the jab is knocking the back all the time. In the middle of all that muddle, Tony did land a very nice left hand. And I think if the team wasn't holding on so much, he might have on, collapsed onto the canvas. There's on, been one knockdown in the bout. Team when Ernest Mateen. Put his knee on the canvas while trying to throw a punch. There's the second knockdown. I mean, it was a good right sneak right hand. You don't see this stuff like since Archie Moore. Six, seven, now Mateen eight, wants eight, to talk to somebody in the stand, so that's James Tony's wife. So Mateen issues a barb at Tony's wife, and James, I think, knows that. That's 
the rabbit punching again. Now Tony knows that he can drop this guy, but it wasn't a hard shot, it was a quick shot. Lands a left hand. Hard to tell whether Mateen really has his balance because he never really has his balance. <laughs> good right hand again. Another good right hand by Tony. He's trying to stick to his business among the most trying of conditions. And the other guy's like a spider. Every time he hits him, he holds. Maybe these fights have something to do with that big fat moon that's sitting out there above the bleachers. Good right hand again. Tony is cashing in on those lead right hands. Low blow by Mateen and then a wild flailing left, partially blocked by Tony. James is now talking to Mateen in there. There's another low blow and this a guy, rabbit punch. And this guy should be thrown out. Let's DQ him. Oh, another point. This is the third point. Next time you're gone. Next time you're gone. Hey, let's go. Come on. Well, I'm not sure whether that deduction was for low blows or rabbit punches. It could have been for either. Another good right hand by James Tony. He's doing it right. The most important thing, James Tony is fighting fair under circumstances where a lot of fighters just wouldn't do it. And trying to keep his own technique together as he goes against a guy who is simply a nightmare. And he's holding. Yeah, he's holding Tony's right arm with his left arm. Now he puts the glove up behind his head. Now he holds behind the head while he hits, and that's it. Mills Lane, quite to his credit, decides to disqualify Ernest The best thing I've ever seen in boxing. In the black and red there at ringside. The best thing I've ever seen in boxing. James Tony's wife, Sarah. So you're applauding Mills Lane now. Uh, the best thing I've seen in Nevada in a long time. You must have been fearful it wasn't going to happen, George. James Tony coming to ringside to consult with George Foreman. Well, he didn't, he didn't try to retaliate with punching behind the back and hitting below the belt. That's what you call a champion. So you're proud of him? I'm very proud of him. This is what I like to see. And those punches behind the neck like that, this guy will, it'll take him two years to recover from that. This was a dangerous night for James Tony, and he got through it. We don't like to see that in boxing. Gets himself another victory. And you're right, Larry. We hope Ernest Mateen goes back to the John Jay College of Criminal Justice in New York City. Well, you know, Darrell Royal, the... Uh, the great football man from Oklahoma and Texas once said that old ugly is better than old nothing, but I got to tell you, old nothing would have been better than this. <laughs> you know, only a sooner like you, Larry, would have remembered that Royal was a sooner before he was ever a Longhorn. Let's go up to Michael Buffer for the official particulars. Ladies and gentlemen, at the end of round number five, referee Mills Lane calls a halt to the bout. He disqualifies Ernest Mateen, the winner and still light heavyweight champion, James Lights Out Tony. Now that take courage. When you see all the fighting fans paid here and you stop a fight, now that's what a referee needs, courage. So new manager Stan Hoffman proffers the double kiss to James Tony's considerable cheeks and Tony notches another victory to move his record to 48 2 and 2 with 33 KOs still one of the best records in the sport
George Foreman blowing kisses at Mills Lane. And the Nevada State Athletic Commission says that it will withhold Ernest Mateen's share of the purse here, pending an investigation of his tactics in the fight. Yes, they're going to hold his money, George. It's been quite a night. And with thank yous to my broadcast partners here at ringside, uh, Harold and Larry and George, let's throw it back to James Brown. All yours, JB. All right, Jim Lampley, and as you indicated mercifully, this one is over. James Tony. I don't know how he would uh, word this one in his uh, march back to regain his lofty status, but I'm sure he's glad this one is over as well. Brice to Koizumi. Today's first Bowie Sen. Tekichi ni norikomimashita. Koizumi-san.